married off. A few she's, not, she's not a victim. If, let me finish. She's, she's not like, a victim. She's 15 years old. That you mm. don't get, you don't have, a child doesn't get to consent. A 15-year-old doesn't get to consent to have sex and to be married to somebody well, actually, who's an adult. If, right? if Nicola so Sturgeon had had her way in Scotland, she could well, consent to you're talking about Shimi Begum, you can try... Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you are feeling good. Today we'll be checking out a video titled Piers Morgan on Sharmaima Bejon. She is a disgusting piece of work. Wow. The title is a bit interesting. So let's check it out. Go. Well, good evening from London. Welcome to Piers Morgan Arts Centre. I'm back from New York, but we're still here and we're still lively. A 15-year-old in Britain who's convicted of murder will automatically be given a life sentence. A 15-year-old can also apply to join the armed forces and begin serving in the next year. And they'll also be able to get married and start paying taxes. In Scotland, the new trans rights bill allows 15-year-olds to begin the life-changing process of altering their gender with no medical diagnosis. Anyone who criticised that law was scolded as a bigot and told the 15-year-olds are perfectly capable of making adult decisions. So what about the decision, the decision to leave your home in East London and join an Islamic death cult in Syria? Well, Shamima Begum made that decision when she was 15. She left the country that raised her, cared for and educated her to marry a murderer. She joined an Islamic death cult bent on destroying Western civilization through rape and torture, and beheading people, setting fire to them. Several years later, when a suicide bomber killed 22 at an Ariana Grande concert in Manchester, she said this. It's, it's a two-way thing, really. Because women and children are being killed back in the Islamic State right now. And it's kind of retaliation. Like, the, their justification was that it was retaliation, so I thought, OK, that is a, f a fair justification. A fair justification that children, who were most of the victims, watching a pop concert, were blown to pieces in one of Britain's most harrowing terror attacks. Begum also told the Times newspaper that seeing decapitated heads in bins, quotes, didn't faze her. And most damningly of all, perhaps, she said this. Yeah, I will admit, I was the one that made the choice. <coughs> Even though I was only 15 years old, I did have... I, I do have, like... I, I could make my own decisions back there. I do have the, the, like, mentality to make my own decisions, and I did leave on my own, knowing that. Begum's defenders say she's an innocent child who was groomed. That's not how she sees it, though, so why should we? In recent years, Begum's attempted to reinvent herself. She has savvy advisers and a battery of legal minds fighting her case in the UK at vast expense. She starred on a BBC podcast, and the headscarf's been replaced by a cap and sunglasses that look more TikTok than Terror State. I think I could very much help you in your fight against terrorism because you clearly don't know what you're doing. Yeah, we don't need any help from you, thanks, in our fight against terrorism. Begum was rightly stripped of her British citizenship in 2019 leaving her languishing in a Syrian refugee camp. Last week, a court upheld that decision. But now the UK's own terrorism watchdog, Jonathan Hall KC, says we should bring her back. I don't agree. Other countries, including the US, Canada and France, do this differently. They prefer their homegrown terrorists to sit in their jails and be permanently monitored at vast taxpayers' expense. But I think Britain made the right call on this. She was our problem, but she chose not to be our problem anymore. Well, joining me now is criminal defence lawyer and human rights campaigner Arma Anwar and former US ambassador Peter Galbraith. Uh, well, welcome to both of you. So, uh, let me start with you, uh, Arma Anwar. I, I just can't find it in me to see a credible reason why we should let Shamima Begum back, given that she also had Bangladeshi citizenship. They may have renounced it, but that's not our problem. She seems to me to be a very cynical young woman who actually knew exactly what she was doing. I've got four kids. Three of them have mm. all been through their, their young teens. At 15, they know what they're doing. She knew exactly what she was doing when she got on her path to, to Syria. She married an ISIS fighter who was committing terror atrocities. She had three children who all sadly died uh, with this monster. She could see a severed head in a bin and not be fazed by it. She thought the Manchester terror attack was justified. That was the logic of the death cult she was with. I just don't see why we should be spending a huge amount more of taxpayer money on top of the legal bills we've already had to face to, to fight this case on just putting her here somewhere. 
Well, the first thing I'd say is that I don't believe that people that we accuse of terrorism who are British citizens should be dumped in other countries that didn't want it. The Syrian people, the Kurdish people, the Iraqi people suffered enough with foreign fighters coming to their land. That's the first thing I would say. The second issue, of course, Pierce, is that this was an individual who at the age of 15 has been accepted by the courts, was groomed, was radicalised, was then trafficked and a victim of child exploitation. She was married off. At the she's, age not, of she's not a victim. If, let me finish. She's, she's not like, a victim. She's 15 years old. That you mm. don't get. You don't have. A child doesn't get to consent. A 15 year old doesn't get to consent to have sex and to be married to somebody well, actually, who's if, an adult. If, right? if Nicola so Sturgeon had had her way in Scotland, she could. Well, consent you're to talking about Shamima Begum. You can try and divert the issue. I'm, I'm trying to answer. No, no, I'm just saying. I'm saying to I'm you, just saying that that are, are, you saying, are you saying a no, no, 15-year-old has a right of consent? Because that's not. That's child exploitation. That's actually, rape. What I'm it's saying, rape under the law. What I'm saying is we've literally just had this debate in Scotland where we were all assured a 15-year-old You're old talking about Shamima Begum. Hang on. I'm talking about a 15-year-old's right to give consent about life-changing things in talking their life. talking about child sexual exploitation, a 15-year-old under the law of this country, mm. does not have the ability to give consent to be married off to a man, OK, and to have sex with him. What Those about, people, and I agree with you... What about, when, ISIS, she, what about when she turned when 16 when and carried ISIS, on being impregnated by this Somebody's monster. groomed and radicalised, that's the first thing. I don't know what went on her head. I don't have any truck with her ideas. With mm. that, ISIS, as far as I'm concerned... We've heard her but, ideas. I've, I, exactly, and I've got no truck with them, because as far as I'm concerned, ISIS is a perverted death cult. Right. But the first thing I would say is, why should Syria, why should Kurdistan, why should Iraq have to put up with British fighters? The second issue you raised about citizenship is this, because it seems to me as though there's two classes of citizenship in this country. First of all, if, she was, if, if her name was Sharon and she was white from Manchester, there's no way her citizenship would be ripped away. The second issue is about, you said about her having a Bangladeshi citizenship. Well, actually, no. No, because like for myself, I was born and brought up in this country. But by the f f quirk of fate, um, I could have my citizenship stripped because my parents happened to be of Pakistani origin. That's not acceptable. Because Bangladesh said at the age of 19 that they were revoking it because she has never been to Bangladesh. That's the other part of it. You're living in a camp of 20,000 ISIS fighters, you've already mentioned... Um, um, America, Germany and other mm. countries that have taken back um, terrorist fighters. And the, the, the other issue I have is this, because it wasn't just 15-year-olds. There, there was children who were younger than that who were being groomed and trafficked by a perverted death cult, sexually trafficked, sexual... I would want those, like Shamima Begum, who tore up the social contract with this country and went to join ISIS, who, if they want to come back to this country, then the first demand should be share the information provide us the details of those who have gone into the shadows, who will still be recruiting, who will still be trafficking, and who still want to carry out tax in this country, mm. but also abroad. But okay. we should not, under the international law, wash our hands of those individuals who happen to be British. Because you would have been the first, of course, Pierce, to turn around and say the likes of Abu Hanza and terrorist preachers and radical extremists should be deported back to their country of origin. Yet, for some reason, because you happen to have a brown skin, because you happen to be Shamima Begum, that we shouldn't take responsibility. Oh, it's nothing to do with, no, no, hang on. It's nothing to do with her skin colour. I just think she's a disgusting, oh, well, I, well, disgusting piece of work who made her ISIS bride bed. Well, if you have evidence, and she stayed out there for many if years, you have evidence, having repeated bring her children back. who died in appalling circumstances, the and children, she's shown absolutely the last to me, child died she has shown of a, absolutely no sign of real remorse the to me. The last child whatsoever. died because Sajid Javed decided to strip her of a citizenship. You're blaming if we the yes, British Home Secretary. I am because for, for that child, actions that she what, made herself. What, that child child was innocent. The child was innocent and doesn't deserve to die. Yeah. If you have evidence, this is what I believe in this country. We don't, we don't mm -hmm. rule, we don't have the rule of law which is dictated by opinion polls, by a revenge mob mm -hmm. or retribution. What we have is the rule of law. And if we have evidence the against a British, just... citizen, a British citizen okay. who commits crimes right, abroad, you can't just bring them talking. back, investigate, Fine. prosecute and send them to prison. Fine. That's we what do... you do. It's because we have the rule of law that the rule of law has now been applied to her and it has reaffirmed that decision by Sajid Javid that she shouldn't be allowed back into the country. You just talked about wanting the rule of law to be at play. The rule question, of law has literally play. been implemented. The rule of law, it was done on an administrative process, and the three panel of judges actually said that they had grave concerns because she was a victim of child the exploitation. They had to yeah, deal with on, it on an administrative on. process. Hang on. They upheld the decision. Therefore, the rule of law has actually been carried out, which is what you wanted. Well, you were talking about Scotland earlier on. The law has changed constantly in this country because of a public debate. Homosexuality used to be right, illegal so, in this country. Okay. Same-sex marriage used to be illegal. So what you're country. saying is... Do you believe... So you're saying that the do rule... Do you believe... Hang on. 
So you're saying the rule of law that literally has just been upheld... You're the one you're who's organising the debate. You're likening it to decriminalising homosexuality back you, in the 60s. You are Maybe the one nuts. who organised the debate Let, tonight about Shamima Begum. It was your choice. No, you asked a question, I, know. I answered it. You know, you, you cited the rule of law as being incredibly important. I just said to you, the rule of law has literally just been implemented and it said she can't come back. Wow. What an interesting debate. Judged by the titled... Pierce Morgan on Shamima Began. She is a disgusting piece of work. And we have bring her home. Began was 15 when she traveled to Syria to join ISIS. I totally agree that uh, a 15 year uh, a 15 years old don't have that right to make uh, an informed decision. Because I believe she 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 is not allowed to at least she have to get to the age of 18 before she can, you know, make uh an informed decision for herself before she can even decide to give her own consent if she's ready to be with a man. Because at that age 15, I believe that age is really very low for someone to be married or for her to be able to make her own informed decision. So I believe. Uh, there's a point in what uh, the guest, in the point and the fact the guest stated that probably maybe she was traffic and a lot of the people have been doing this trafficking young ladies and at the end of the day sending them back to uh, Pakistan, Syria, selling them off. I believe something like that might be in place. But what surprised me the most in this video was if truly she was traffic, if truly she was forced to marry uh, an ISIS uh, leader, if truly she was forced to leave the country, she sh at this age she she's uh, at this age she currently is she currently is right now she should be able to voice her opinion out that oh I was forced at the age of fifteen I was being trafficked and sold off to these people that's how I found myself in this situation but she's not making any remorse for that. Instead, she's say, instead, uh, uh, she's standing by a decision that she knew what she was doing when she made, when she made that decision to, 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 to support the ISIS instead of, you know, denying that. She's not denying that. She's not denying that. So it's very difficult for people to show their support when the person in question is saying she made the right decision for herself at the age of 15 and she knows when, what she was doing when she made the right decision. I believe that's the angle Pierce Morgan is coming from. That's why the reason why Pierce Morgan is saying that she shouldn't be considered. She shouldn't be considered since she's not feeling any remorse on what she have done on what she did. Instead, she's saying she made the right decision. So there's no reason for them to bring her back. Cause I, for one, I totally support bringing her back. That is only when she's ready to admit. Oh. I made the right, uh, I made the wrong decision because I was very young. And as a result of that, I found myself in this situation when she's ready to admit that. Of course, they can bring her back, but she's old enough right now to make a very good decision for herself. But instead, she's coming up and saying, uh, the decision she made when, when she was 15, that she knows what she was doing when she made the decision, which means she's not feeling remorse. So I don't see any need why they should bring her back and currently right now based on this video they have denied uh a, 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 a citizenship just because of what she said wow so i would like to hear your comments regarding uh this topic shamima bring her home begon was 15 when she traveled to syria to join isis so keep the comments coming let's get the conversation rolling don't forget click on the subscribe button click on the like button do have a nice day.